Es machte Arthur zu einem schwierigen Fall für die Psychologen und es war unmöglich, eine klare Diagnose für das Kind zu stellen. <lacht> Trash. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my actual natural hair color. I can't actually remember when I uploaded a makeup dedicated video the last time on YouTube. We're gonna test every single celebrity makeup Brand. I recently saw a comment by Mia Soros on the one of my videos and this comment inspired me to do this video so shout outs to Mia this video was a lot of work. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on makeup. I'm not gonna do skincare. I'm not gonna do clothing, obviously. I'm actually kind of nervous to film this video. I mean, I already filmed everything, but I'm still nervous to do this part right here because I am gonna talk about a lot of celebrities. I feel like some people I'm gonna be upset about it because I'm not necessarily only gonna say good stuff. And I just hope we agree that we can all take this chill. We can all just, you know, be calm. <laughs> If I tear apart one celebrity for their makeup brand, it's nothing personal. I'm trying to do a good job here and just sharing my opinion. I mean, that's obviously also the thing. There's a lot of different opinions also on makeup products because we all like different things but I guess you know that that's why you're here right you want to hear mama's opinion and I filmed this video over a span of a month I think because obviously I can't just sit down and do my makeup take my makeup off do my makeup I kind of also wanted to you know wear it the day so I kind of did it all on different days but you will see all of that and honestly why does it even matter i'm also gonna do a super small introduction into the celebrity for everyone who might not know the celebrity and you know i'm just a normal person looking through wikipedia articles so if there's any wrong info any wrong facts please kindly correct me on those i spent a lot of money for this video i can't even imagine anyone watching this video to the end It's so, It's fucking so fucking long. long. Actually, before we get started, did you buy my book already? Don't worry, I'm not gonna talk for like five hours about it. Go buy it. <laughs> for everyone who's new here, they're just gonna be like, what the fuck is this? It's a book. It's available on Amazon. It's in English and German, and it's a really fun book. Link in the description. All right, guys, I'm ready. Are you too? So we're gonna start with a classic one, Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Cosmetics was founded by Kylie Jenner, who is one of the Kardashian sisters. Well, actually, Jenner sisters, Jenner Kardashian, just that. This makeup brand was originally named Lip Kit by Kylie and launched November 2015, when Kylie was 17. Oh my Jesus Lord. I mean, we all still know those Kylie lip kits, don't we? <laughs> They were so hyped back then, like Candy K, True Brown K. I mean, obviously Kylie Jenner had this Wilma going on that she had lip injections back then because her lips were suddenly humongous. But she said, no, it's just lip liner. And you know what? It's actually my lip liner. So that's how she sold her product. And it was kind of genius because we all bought it <laughs> except me because i don't think uh i had money back then and also i don't think kylie cosmetics shipped to germany i think they didn't ship to germany for a long time because there was some kind of ingredient in there which was not allowed in germany i just ordered the fake candy k on aliexpress lip kit by kylie jenner was eventually renamed kylie cosmetics and kylie also expanded her product range a lot in 2019 the company was actually valued at 900 million dollars which makes it to one of the most successful celebrity brands out there i mean it, it sure as hell is a lot of money cali cosmetics is definitely our oldest brand in this video or actually the one that exists the longest so she definitely built her brand believe it or not i've never been on the cali cosmetics website and i've never bought anything from Kylie cosmetics except the candy k lip kit by aliexpress cosmetics so this was the first time i've been on 
their website. I mean, it looks like a typical makeup website. I think this pink kind of color you see on the website is kind of their brand color, right? Or is it just because it's a Valentine's Day collection there? I mean, I could have bought stuff from the website, but I didn't. <laughs> Even though it now ships to Germany and the shipping is free, I decided to order it on Douglas, which is like a German makeup store. I think now it's time to try her out. Here are all of my products which I ordered. I kind of tried to order everything I found on Douglas. <laughs> I mean not everything but like everything I'm gonna do a makeup look with. So for every brand I'm gonna be trying out I ordered as much stuff as I could for one makeup look. So my friends this is me probably uh, two months ago actually as you can see by my hair. And we're gonna jump right in and do our eyebrows. Eyebrows. I've ordered this Kylie Kybrow pencil. I'm not sure about these eyebrow pencils in general because I just don't know what to do with them. As you can see, I only have half brows and it just mostly doesn't work. Also, even if I wouldn't have half brows, I still wouldn't know what to do with these because obviously after you have some strokes, down, they're not really sharp anymore and then you can't do the strokes you wanted to do. The first brow was actually kind of cute, the second brow I kind of hate it, but that's just how it goes. That's my life. That's kind of all our lives, right? I don't think the product was bad, I just personally did not like it just because I don't like products like this. Oh, I forgot to say, obviously if the makeup does not have foundation or concealer, I can't order it. So right here you can see I already have my base on, I'm just working with what I have. So next I I ordered this 24 birthday collection eyes powder palette which is a limited edition i don't think you can buy it anymore on their website but you can buy it on douglas and it was also on sale normally this would cost 67 euros that's a good price for a palette i mean it was the only palette there was on douglas so i ordered this one but when i opened it up i was like oh hell no you guys know me neutral colors i don't need them no it's not that bad I just don't really know how to use them anymore. I love my bright colors. I love my eyeliner. So this is kind of out of my comfort zone, but we're gonna work with it. I really don't know when was the last time I put neutral eyeshadow on my eyes. I think the eyeshadow was okay. It was, it was pigmented. It was there. It was blendable. Then I went in to darken it a little more with some dark brown. Also good color, blendable, good so far, Kylie good. Now it's time for some shimmer eyeshadow. I always apply my shimmer eyeshadow with my finger, not with the brush. Hate the brush for this. Honestly, I was kind of mesmerized by this pink shimmer shade. It was really pink and really glittery. I even had to get my flashlight out for this. I also had the idea that I want to use this yellow eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I don't know why I thought this would look good because right now looking at this footage, it just looks like somebody punched me in both of my eyes. I liked it while filming this, but now looking at it, it just looks really hurtful. Next, we're gonna get to the eyeliner, and I just want you to know, I'm gonna be so judgy and so nitpicky and so strict with the eyeliners in this video. I love eyeliner more than my life. I basically use it every day when I put makeup on. I kind of want to do say myself that I am kind of an expert. Back to the Kyle liner. It was actually really good. The Kyle liner was it. I would even go as far as it was one of the best eyeliners I've ever tried, if not even the best eyeliner. And I know it's crazy. I mean, look how cute it looks. Look, and it went on so quickly. It's just super pointy, but it still has a lot of product in the pointy tip. But it was also not too much coming out because with the NYX eyeliner, you sometimes have too much product coming out and then it kind of just gets all splotchy. I also decided to draw two little hearts because I'm at and I want this to be a cool makeup look and not basic. <laughs> I'm also drawing some lashes on my long lash line. Oh, that looks so bad though. Don't look at them. Next, it's time for lashes. And you guess it right, it's the Kai Lash. I mean, kind of genius, let's be honest. I mean, honestly, they kind of just look like these typical Ardell Wispies, which you could also get for like seven bucks in the drugstore. Just saying. We're gonna give Kai Lashes a chance. And I can definitely tell you that this chance, they did not take it. 
Kylie Cosmetics spat on the chance. When I tried to get it off of the plastic container, they just ripped. They ripped into pieces. What the actual fuck, guys? I swear to God, I'm not ripping them out. I'm just taking them out like I would take out any lash. These lashes, you can literally just rip them apart. How are you supposed to get them out there? Oh, well, if you want to buy single lashes, I got them right there. I have other lashes, which I get out of the packaging and they don't rip, so. I don't think it's my fault, Kylie. This is like 20 euros for nothing. So after the high of the Kyle liner, we quickly fell down onto the low of the Kyle lash. Next, I'm gonna use the Kylie bronzer um, while it kind of, you know, started off slow but it was buildable as you can see there's like not a lot coming out but then again the question is with your bronzer do you actually want this to be like super pigmented or do you want this to be buildable because obviously you don't want a brown harsh line there you just want to you know buff it in next the highlighter. I just love when they stamp stuff into the product. It just looks so fancy, especially in highlighters. I also like the highlighter. I'm just not like a huge fan of pressed powder highlights anymore, but personal preference. So it was okay. It was very like um shiny. And what would this video be without a classic Kylie lip kit? I ordered this one in the shade Bite Me because bite me. <laughs> I actually did not care for the shade. I just wanted to order the shade by me. I feel like the lip liner was kind of a pinkish red while the liquid lipstick was more of a red, red, red. But it still worked together. It just felt really weird to actually apply a real Kylie lip kit on my lips. I don't know if you've noticed, but I just don't wear matte lips anymore. I don't feel it. I don't get the vibe. So of course I also bought a gloss. So I can put it on top and it's a clear gloss. Gloss. My heart beats for clear gloss. It's my favorite gloss of all time because you can just put it on top of everything. And once again, Kylie does not have it easy with this because I also consider myself a clear gloss expert because I tried so many on this planet. And what I hate about clear glosses is when you put them on, then you can see your lipstick underneath mixing with the gloss and just like dripping down. I even have that with the Fenty clear gloss. I'm gonna talk about that later. So many glosses have that issue, except the NYX lingerie gloss. I'm hyping NYX up so much in this video already and it's not even about drugstore brand. Oh God, do I have to make a testing every single drugstore brand too? Turns out this gloss was fine. I, well, I didn't wear it for like a couple of hours. It was like right before bedtime, but like for two to three hours I wore it and it was fine. So good on you, Kylie. Right here, I just realized how fucking ugly this look is I created. The lip color just doesn't fit to the the eyeshadow or my hair and just nothing fits. But that's still my look. I don't like it, but the products I tested were good, except the lashes. That was the worst thing I've ever tried in my whole life. Remember that? We're gonna get to the second brand. House Laboratories. The make brand of our icon Lady Gaga. I guess you all know her, but I'm still gonna tell you that she is a singer and she started her music career as a teenager. She really so many iconic songs which were literally my life when I was a teenager. I don't really listen to Lady Gaga anymore but she was indeed my teenagerhood. And did you know her real name is actually Stephanie Juan Angelina Germanotta? That's a random fact I still have in my head because I once did a school presentation on her. Her brand House Labs was launched in September 2019 and according to reports House Labs was the third best-selling celeb makeup brand of 2020. 20, earning over 141 million dollars of media value. I personally heard good stuff about it, but I also have never tried it. Not one single makeup product. So I think it really is time. Let me see what Gaga does. Honestly, when I went onto the website, I was kind of just, it was too much at once. I did not really like the design, like the black and then the white squares with the products on it. I just did not like the first impression of this website. If we look at the logo, it's also not like the most exciting thing. <laughs> We're not judging logos here. And obviously it's also personal opinion. <laughs> I mean, House Laboratories is such 
a long word it's two words when i went to the shop all section it was definitely way better than before because we had this white basic background this one beautiful picture of lady gaga also i need to mention that they do ship to germany and the shipping is free which i think especially if i pay as much as i always pay in this video i think the shipping should be free most websites have this um, like if you pay over 70 euros it's for free i'm just really happy when the shipping is for free so here are all my house labs products once again i shopped as much as i can but not too much because you know i just need a certain amount for my beauty <laughs> it also came with this kind of ugly makeup bag i'm sorry what the fuck is this <laughs> i mean i don't want to be ungrateful but i definitely did not want this makeup bag <laughs> i'm gonna start with my eyeshadow once again house laboratories does not have foundation or any liquid face product but we're gonna start with this glamatech liquid shimmer powder maybe i should have just read the title because i personally thought it's just like a matte blue eyeshadow Oh, das glitzert ja. Wie schön das glitzert. I'm just gonna apply it on my eyelid. I'm not complaining, but it kind of just fucked up the plan I had for this look. Obviously, I always have to plan my looks before I order. I just applied this and basically just had some weird blue shimmer glitzer on my eye. Very 2000 kind of vibe. Next, I ordered the four-way shadow palette. There were still a couple others available, but this one was the one which spoke the most to me and as you can see i tried to do like a blue vision all the other eyeshadow palettes were sold out on their page so i guess i can just take what i can get and then i decided to go in with the dark blue because that color is kind of sexy i also noticed that there's like intense fallout for the blue ones so keep that in mind oh i just, i okay that's what i'm doing i guess I also feel like the blue eyeshadow is a little patchy, but I don't know if it's just me and I'm just like out of practice. <laughs> we need more glitter. It looks so different on the wand than on the eye. It's not like super vibrant. It's just glittery. I also got these, but to be honest with you, I don't really know how to use them. I think they're supposed to be like an eyeliner. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> attach it to my face lace. Oh shit. I mean, I don't like the wing. It's like super small. <laughs> I know it's not like small for everyone. It's just small for me and I just prefer to draw it a bit bigger and also a bit more pointy. I don't like it. It's not for me. Maybe it looks cute on my bottom lash line. Hang on. Hmm. But I feel like the liner on top is not intense enough. Also, it's, it really does not feel nice on this place right there. <laughs> but I really don't know why there's like space there. Why didn't they just... I bought this white liner. Ooh, that's really good. It's really pigmented. Oh my god, the face lace is so uncomfortable. Okay, I got some rouge, some blush in the color Spritz. Casa Gaga. Is this cream blush? Okay, that's subtle, very subtle blush. It also has like a really soft little shimmer in it. Oh my god, this face lace. I mean, that's not bad. I just like my blush to be a bit more pigmented, but that's also my personal preference, so. Ooh, that looks pretty. Wow. It's also not like super intense, but very buildable and very like shiny i don't see a lot of glitter in there i like glitter and highlighter but i get why people just prefer the shiny ones that's gorgeous and last but not least i bought this lip kit kind of thing i bought a dark one because i thought i want drama <laughs> baby Mm. It's kind of a similar color to my Kylie lip kit. I really like it when the lip liners aren't too soft because brands really tend to make them too soft. Obviously, there's nothing worse than a hard liner which kind of slices your lips open. But I also don't like it when they're too soft. Well, that's a different color than the lip liner for sure. This is way more brown. Interesting wand shape. I don't like this wand shape. It's kind of like not very smoothy. I like the good old classic one yeah maybe not the gloss by itself maybe just like draw with the lip liner on your whole lips and then apply the gloss because it's a little patchy i like that it doesn't smell like anything because i don't like 
smelly gloss. Smelly gloss. Do you see this? And this is my house labs look. I don't think it's bad. It looks like I tried out products. Let's be honest here. This whole eyeliner sticker thing, I'm still not sure about it. It's really uncomfortable and I still don't really know what to do with it because I could have easily just drawn the eyeliner. I just put the sticker on Vincent to see what it looks like. I actually look kind of cute. <laughs> so I do have a good impression of House Labs, even though I did not so much like the lip gloss because it was kind of very thick. Also, I really do not understand these eye stickers. Maybe you do. Our next makeup brand is Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez started her career as an actor when she was seven, actually. I mean, yeah, child actors, but still, it's so crazy to me. When she was 16 years old, she started her music career as a singer and she even started producing shoes. My autocorrect. Corrected shows into shoes. By the way, did you know she was the executive producer of 30 Reasons Why? In September 2020, she launched her makeup line, Rare Beauty. I want to quote the brand message to you. Rare Beauty is not about being someone else, but being who you are. If you go onto their website, it's very much giving white and nude and just a very clean visual which i mean definitely it's nice it's very aesthetically pleasing and honestly it's really nice to look at after the house left website on their website they also have this whole section dedicated to mental health where they're just spreading information about it and also showing how to get support if you struggle with your mental health and they're just spreading awareness in general which i think is really cute i've never seen this on a makeup page before and after I put all of the makeup products into my bag ready to order them I realized they don't ship to Germany <laughs> Why? Why? they actually just ship to the United States so no international shipping which is kind of crazy to me why would you do that but I did see that you can also get rare beauty at Sephora in Germany so it's okay there's definitely not all the products from the website so luckily I have this very amazing friend of mine called Alicia Marais fantasize <laughs> and I know she's a huge Selena fan a huge rare beauty fan and she basically has every single makeup product she came through I got everything and more I, I couldn't even use all of it but I have it Tucky. Fine. So Rare Beauty is our first makeup brand that actually has foundation and concealer and all of that good stuff. First off, I'm going to be applying the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. It felt like I was applying highlighter to my face. That's why I was kind of surprised. If there's one thing this primer definitely is, it's illuminating. Let me just look at my face. I was literally a shiny face which is good because I felt like my skin was dry and then I was like okay now it's dry and shiny <laughs> now we're gonna get to the liquid touch weightless foundation and we got 48 shades which is really good I mean honestly if you come out with foundation or concealer or any kind of skin shade product just do it that way there's no other way than immediately releasing 48 shades I'm gonna apply it with this brush it's a foundation brush and I was just wondering because I thought Alicia Marie sent me a dirty brush <laughs> but turns out the brushes look like that they're just brown I mean obviously this is Ellie's shade so I can just hope that it kind of matches my skin shade and as you can see it's very yellow compared to my skin I mean my neck is kind of yellow my face is always very red so the obvious choice is to match it to my neck but this one is definitely way too yellow oh my Jesus Lord but we still work with it because it's the only shade we have <laughs> and I quickly realized I did not like the foundation brush or the foundation I don't know I just did not like what was happening so I thought maybe it's easier with the beauty blender I don't know it, it just still did not look that good my, my skin was dry but not as dry as it looks here I swear this <laughs> this looks really bad it just really clinged onto the dry patches of my face I mean maybe if it were the right shade and I didn't have all these weird yellow patches on my face maybe 
better. I know Ellie loves Rare Beauty. I know everybody loves Rare Beauty. <laughs> so I'm just like wondering, did I do just something wrong? Because I do not love this foundation like at all. Obviously everybody has different skin types and skin textures. Maybe it was also the primer underneath. I really don't know. I was kind of hoping I can save it with the concealer. This is a bit lighter than the foundation, but still very yellow. Actually, when I applied the concealer, I feel like it was a bit better but still not a shade match, but it's okay. I'm carrying on with the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush, which is not only a blush, but also a TikTok famous blush, because I saw it on TikTok being hyped up as shit, and I also really, really love liquid blush. It also was literally my hair color. I don't know if you see what's happening here, but I did not think it would be this pigmented, and I did have a little bit of a struggle with this, because it also kind of dried quite quickly, so I really had to work it in fast. But as you can see, I still kind of made it work. It was very well to blend. If you use this, maybe just apply a bit on your hand. Just dab your beauty blender in it and then, you know, don't do what I did. Now we can set our whole face. Oh wow, it's so exciting to do a whole face of makeup, right guys? This is how I always set my foundation, just with my beauty blender, which is still a bit damp. I feel like it gives you really nice, soft, set but also a solid set and then i realized i had this cream bronzer slash contour stick which i did not see before and it was literally right after the powder when i realized i had this i still wanted to use it so i was just trying it out i mean some cream bronzers also work on a powder base not this one though oh it was so horrible on the forehead guys it just i made this look so bad this is not the bronzer fault this is my fault fold. Also, what are all these yellow spots? <laughs> Why did I not even blend this foundation properly? What is wrong with me? This is embarrassing. Now it's time for some liquid highlighter. Love liquid highlighter. As I said, love it way more than powder highlighter. And I applied this and I was immediately like, oh my god, this is gorgeous. But when I started to blend it into my skin, Again, I realized that it also kind of disrupts my makeup base. Again, I already powdered my face, but I usually don't powder this area where I put the highlighter so I can put the liquid highlighter on later. To you right now, looking at this footage, it kind of looks normal. It looks shiny, it looks normal. Believe me, there was something going on. Let's do our eyeshadow with the Discovery Eyeshadow Palette. Um, yeah, a neutral eyeshadow palette. Yay! I was feeling very very uninspired and I just went straight in with the glitter shade but I do have to say that I did really enjoy this one it was super glittery it was really beautiful I love this one time for a eyeliner you know I am an eyeliner expert. It was okay. There could have definitely been a bit more product in the tip. I could still work with it and I was also like, I'm gonna do a tiny little wing because I'm doing a very natural red beauty face, very neutral here. Next I'm gonna apply the mascara which was also not overwhelming but also not disappointing. I have very small top lashes and very big bottom lashes. So the mascara always looks amazing on my bottom lashes but my top lashes are the ones that look like shit. Next I wanted to do like a gradient lip so I went in with this very red matte lip cream and I also wanted like a transition shade for the outer parts of my lips. So I went in with this eyeshadow. <laughs> I did not realize this was an eyeshadow. I thought this was a lip product. And I was wondering why this is so dry and so crusty on my lips. I was like, oh my god, this lipstick is so shitty. <laughs> Liquid eyeshadow. Oh. I played more of the red lipstick and that was the moment when I realized it did not taste good. Honestly, I did not want to set this face. I just wanted to take this face off again. It's really hard to build an opinion on the face products now because I don't know what was the issue. Either they're shitty or the problem was the wrong shade match and I also did not do a good job with the cream bronzer. I normally can apply my foundation, I swear. I can just not say I like the face products. I, I really want to. The next makeup brand, Rem Beauty by Ariana Grande. That is not how she sings. <laughs> 
Oh, that was good. <laughs> Ariana Grande started her music career at 16 years old, but actually had her career breakthrough as an actor in the show Victorious and Sam and Cat. And now, suddenly, turns out she's the most streamed female artist ever. That means she has more streams than I do. I think that says a lot about her career so far. She definitely had a huge impact on the music career the past couple of years. In November 2021, she launched her makeup line Rem Beauty, which makes this to one of our latest and youngest makeup brands to be released. She also just released one collection so far. I think when I'm uploading this video. She also released a second collection just like a couple of days ago. By the way, I found out she named the brand Rem because obviously it's a song of hers. <laughs> obviously, if you don't know that, I even an Arianator. That's such a boring name for our fans. Why not Grandissimos? And she also said, quote, Rem. Oh my god. Actually, I'm so sorry. Is it R.E.M. Beauty and not R.E.M. Beauty? <gasps> it is R.E.M. Beauty. It's all right. I corrected myself. She also said, quote, R.E.M. stands for rapid eye movement. <laughs> R.E.M. stands for rapid eye movement, focusing on dreams and focusing on the eyes and eyes being kind of like a way to articulate better than you can with words sometimes. I have no idea what that means. On the R.E.M. website, it's definitely giving kind of space vibes. I mean, obviously that's the theme for their first collection. Very spacey, very intergalactic. I like the website. It's very minimal again. There's not a lot of banners telling you about this. I mean, obviously that just have this one collection line so yeah they probably can't really advertise much more than this still really like the look of it i kind of also really like the logo we've seen this kind of distorted thing but it's cute luckily Aryan beauty ships to germany oh my god i still can't believe i said rem beauty and the shipping is even free when you place an order over 45 euros. Here are the products I ordered, very gray. Oh, and by the way, if you see this thing in my nose, it's always my nose piercing. I swear it's not a booger. My base is on, my brows are on, which means we're gonna start with eyeshadow. I bought the Midnight Snack palette. There were like two other palettes, I think, very brown, very neutral. I mean, what can I say? It's just, it probably makes sense. Also makes sense for her. Probably wears brown all the time. It's my video, I can complain, okay? So I'm gonna go in <laughs> with the brown taupe, taupe kind of very, neutral brown, cool brown shade. I liked it, it was definitely pigmented, but I feel like it was darker on my eye than it was in the palette for some reason. Then I went in with this darker brown, a little bit of reddish brown to darken this a bit more. And then I wanted some glitter shimmer, of course, because what else would I do? And I was kind of not impressed with the silver shade. It was more gray than silver. It looked like their brand color. When I applied more, it definitely showed up more shimmer, more glitter. And I thought maybe I'm just gonna be smart and apply this liquid eyeshadow because liquid eyeshadow will be way more intense. This was not smart on my part because I already applied like two coats of powder and then a liquid eyeshadow on top dumb that did not work and it kind of just erased the eyeshadow underneath maybe this is gonna work as a highlighter and it did i liked it it did disrupt my base though but then again it's an eyeshadow and not meant as a highlighter so i can forgive that i also ordered a different liquid eyeshadow which is this purple and i thought i could just give a bit more color to my eyes with this but i ended up just hating everything now it's time for an eyeliner as you guys know i am I tested it on my hand and I was already a bit sus. And well, this susness kind of got confirmed because this is the worst eyeliner I have ever tried in my whole life. I know this is a statement. There was barely any product coming out. There was no way in getting more product in there. Shaking didn't help because there wasn't anything in there which pushed it out. The tip was way too thick. <laughs> I literally had to take my Kylie Cosmetics liner to fix this. 
This is so bad. <laughs> what the fuck? We're not gonna forget about it, but we're gonna forgive because I cannot keep on living with all this rage inside of me. I'm testing the mascara now and it's okay, but it's not special. The Rare Beauty one was definitely better. She also launched the Dream Lashes. They're kind of cute. They kind of give me like lash extension vibes a little bit. I know I look like I don't like them, but now looking at them, I think it's fine. I'm just way too used to my own lash to this. I, mean, I don't think you can even see it. Can you see these? I would actually consider this like a medium lash. They still look cute. Now I'm gonna use the lip stain marker. I actually saw Ariana use this lip stain marker in her video with God Make. It was like super pigmented and it looked so nice and sadly I was very disappointed about this. Uh, th this did not blend at all. I don't know if it's supposed to blend, maybe you're just supposed to draw it on your whole lip, but you guys know me, I love this gradient effect, so I just apply it in the center and then blend it out. But this was not possible because Miss Ariana did not think this should be blendable. The only thing I blended into each other was my dry lip bits. I actually did put lip scrub on my lips before and I exfoliated my lips. But this makes it look like I didn't. Lastly, we're gonna put the plumping lip gloss on top in hopes it will cover up my horrendous lips. And I mean, I really, really hated the shade. <laughs> this whole look just gave me the vibes of this vine. That's my fault. I picked this shade. And this is my REM Beauty makeup look. I don't even know how to sum this up. The eyeliner, horrible. The lip stain, horrible. Everything Everything else was okay. I like the lash. The next brand, About Face by Halsey. If you don't know her, Halsey is a successful singer and she started her career in 2012. Actually, researching her or information about her for this video really made me like her. I actually did not think about Halsey one bit before this video and I also have never heard of her brand before. I also found out that Halsey is actually a makeup artist and also does her makeup in her music videos or at least most of them. I did some research on that and looked into the credits of her music videos and I actually just found it under one or two where it says like credit makeup artist Halsey using about face but she doesn't credit people often in her description of her music videos which I think is a shame because I think you should really do that no matter how big of an artist you are. I think that's just a standard. About Face launched January 2021, so also a very, very young brand. The brand strives to create, quote, multi-dimensional makeup for everyone. Halsey is also known for changing her looks like all the time and also going for the more crazier look, which definitely speaks to me personally. I like that and I also did not know what to expect from her makeup brand like at all. When I went onto the website, I was kind of happy because I saw immediately there's some scrum scrumptious stuff going on. Not 100% sure about the design of the website, but I love how she designed the packaging for the product. It's just really different and crazy and colorful and it just expresses so much. You can see they also ship internationally. There are a lot of options. And then I realized I paid $54 shipping. That is so much money. It doesn't even include taxes. And then I realized that you can also get about face on cult beauty, but I also realized you cannot get a lot of products. Very few actually. Yay! My about face products arrived. And as you can see, it's a lot of plastic, but Halsey actually stated that the packaging is recyclable and biodegradable. I like the packaging. I think it's creative. I think it's new. It's something we've never seen before. That's the same thing as new. I also love that it doesn't look like makeup. I was just like very excited exploring the products and looking at how they work and you know it's just I loved it. I was finally ready to do an intense look. Not just these neutral looks I just did. We need something new. We need something I'm not a woman, I'm a god. We're gonna start with the shadow stick 
kill the lights kind of like an eyeliner but it's eyeshadow and there was also a little sharpener so i thought this was gonna be my base for everything that comes later i just spread it on my lid and then blended it out with a fluffy brush it worked out well but i wanted like more depth more intense blackness so i just put another coat on top which i quickly realized it's not something you should do maybe this works if you don't have a powder base underneath but <laughs> that just did not work as you can see it just <laughs> i fucked it up i ignored that eye and went ahead on the other eye just to see if i can do better than the first eye and i did it was actually really really nice i just shouldn't have reapplied the product on the other side i just took it off and applied it again and then it was fine and now I'm gonna apply the matte fluid eye paint it is a liquid eyeshadow in this dark blue Jesus Lord in the sky this shit is so pigmented it is so pigmented and I really did use <laughs> a lot I really wouldn't say this is something for makeup beginners I was I myself was kind of overwhelmed because I usually don't work with products like this you just have to feel the product you have to accept the product you have to welcome the product and yeah you can definitely also see some edges some parts that are maybe not blended enough I'm also just getting to know this product next I'm gonna use the fractal glitter eye paint and as you can see I was so excited by how this worked out this was not what I expected I was so excited about this I don't know what else to say it's an amazing very bright glittery eyeshadow I also went ahead and reapplied some of the blue eyeshadow and then I also applied it on my lower lash line blended it out it's really easy to blend out especially on the lower lash line I noticed it's just it was so good I know I sound like I'm getting paid for this <laughs> oh my god I didn't even do a disclaimer that I'm not getting paid for any of this <laughs> and now I'm getting real crazy because I ordered this limited edition teal mascara <laughs> so exciting the mascara itself was also good i think i went in with about two coats just to give it very intense look very intense contrast i uh, love it <laughs> next the light lock highlight fluid come on guys this also looks really cool i thought i would give you very aesthetic shots like just applying the highlighter in the sun but instead all i can look at is this hair on the tip of my nose <laughs> this highlighter was so pretty i know it's getting boring my next idea was to draw a white eyeliner with the eye paint turns out this idea was not the idea <laughs> because as these eye paints are like very blendable kind of just blended into my eyeshadow and did not stay white that actually gave me the idea that I could just apply the mascara as an eyeliner and it worked out I mean yeah it kind of had like mascara consistency it was a bit dry it still looked good then I'm using the black eyeshadow pen which I used at the beginning and lining my lips with it, it was a bit big maybe but it still worked out and I got the painted matte lip color in night sight which is black oh yeah actually the only black lipstick i have is from anastasia and a really really old dry one from jeffree star cosmetics and they're both so old and dry so this felt so amazing having this new smooth creamy black liquid lipstick i'm gonna apply some lip gloss in the color unholy which is this teal color this lip gloss kind of disrupted my lipstick like it kind of just rubbed the lipstick off again which was not so nice i don't know if it's the lipstick or the lip gloss is full probably the lipstick's full it was still cute it gave my lips a cute little blue shimmer and then last but not least the prime and set bundle which is the setting spray and the setting sponge it's sleek you could probably just put this in your room and be like that's what I'm watering my plants with it said on the packaging to spray the makeup sponge and then dab it onto your face I was not sure about this because I'm always scared I'm gonna just destroy my makeup base at this point I trusted Halsey and it was fine guys I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just I really liked everything I tried. I'm it's <laughs>
the only thing you could say is the shipping costs are way too high the price of the products is like basically like all the other ones there's like not much difference and right here you really get high quality products this really feels like a makeup artist developed these there's just thought behind it there is creativity behind it i am a fan i also applied some of the highlighter on vincent because i thought it would look amazing on him and i was right everyone i was right Guys, are you still here? Are you still there? We still got a lot more to do <laughs> and a lot more bad products to explore. <laughs> Our next brand, Florence by Mills. Founded by Millie Bobby Brown, known from Stranger Things. She played Eleven, if you still remember that. She was actually 12 years old when she filmed this. It's just really so crazy to me to think about the fact that she grew up being famous, basically. It must be so weird. I cannot imagine this to be good somehow. My much respect for Millie so far. Millie is 18 now and she launched her makeup brand in August 2019. So when she was 15? Oh my god, when I was 15, I was still wearing my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Black Eyeliner and my waterline and six coats of mascara and removed my makeup with water and rubbing a piece of toilet paper on my face. The brand message is It's all about adding to your beauty. We don't want to cover anything up. And Millie actually named the brand after her great grandma, a woman who embraced herself and did things and made her happy all her life. Oh, we love you, Florence. Clicking onto their website, you can quickly see it's very pastel-y. What even is this color called? It's not purple, it's not blue. Is it blue? It's a purpley blue pastel. I'm really having some color issues right here, but I like it Picasso. Did I mention that I'm not a professional reviewer? Yeah, it really praises itself for being clean beauty, clean ingredients, which means no shit in there. I have spoken. <laughs> no parabens, no hypolaphic no formaldehyde, fatalde You can definitely see that these products, this brand is aimed to a more younger audience. But they actually have a lot, a lot of products. They do have international shipping, but they definitely don't have that many options. Like for example, About Face or REM Beauty. International Standard is $9.99 and International Standard Plus Duties and Taxes is almost $30. <laughs> so I went ahead and ordered it on Beauty Bay. This is not an ad, but I was really glad Beauty Bay actually had so many products because their shipping is free and I could still get as much as I want. We have face products again, which means I'm gonna start off by looking like this. <laughs> as their brand message is, it's all about adding to your beauty and not covering anything up. I was kind of skeptical to say the least because I have a lot to cover. <laughs> We're gonna start with a light skin tint, which is how I always start my makeup routine. It says on the packaging, apply one or two pumps and blend with fingertips. Listen, it does not match my face shade, but I think it does actually match my neck. It's not like intense coverage because it is just a skin tint. I realize it smells like Play-Doh, which is not super pleasant, but I like that more than when it smells very fragrant tea because that means it's without any fragrances i think fragrances are super unnecessary why would i want a lip gloss that smells like butternut squash maracuya bath salt so i just blended that in and i realized it actually really oxidates on the skin as you can see my face is really dark compared to what i just freshly applied it probably has something to do with like the ph in your skin i actually don't know what i'm talking about i was not mad about it it was obviously light coverage but maybe something really nice for beach day next we're gonna apply the see you never concealer which has 20 shades improvable and it has this metal applicator which is obviously supposed to depuff your eyes and you know refresh you a little bit but i prefer per per personally <laughs> It literally made me freeze. I don't know, It's uh, I don't like that. And I also prefer other concealers because this did not do shit. Yes, I know, we don't wanna cover anything up, but I have to cover my dark circles, Florence. That's actually your grandma. Millie, her grandma, gets all the hate now. <laughs> Light coverage does not equal a bad product. 
product. Let me just say that. It just doesn't make sense to me because concealers are there to brighten up this part and cover up your dark circles or whatever you got going on. Yeah, it was buildable. I just applied three coats, I think, in the end. I mean, after three coats, it did something. <laughs> I also bought this concealer in a dark shade just to contour my face, bronze my face up. Turns out this one was really, really good for contouring. I mean, it's a very orange shade, so I guess it's more like a bronzing shade for me in this case, but it did work. It looked good. It looked really good. I really like it. So not good for concealing under your eyes, but probably really good for contouring your face. By the way, here's a little message from our CEO, Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> you know so weird now i'm applying the cheek me later cream blush which is it's just a cream blush and it, it was cute a good pigment good blendability the bouncy cloud highlighter very interesting looking i mean it obviously all swooped to the side really interesting consistency and very fun to apply it was not like super pigmented it, it really is a sheer glow but again it probably fits the brand message and it still looked very nice and now i'm using the uh -oh! eyeshadow palette. Please somebody tell me why this is called Ubu. The packaging is ugly. The effect of the palette is cool, but it's ugly. Interesting colors, to be honest. I'm really glad that it's not just browns and nudes. Kind of crazy that I'm picking this neutral shade, but believe me, I have a concept in mind, and believe me, this eyeshadow did not show up the slightest. Maybe I just applied my eyelid shade, but I don't think this was the case. I think this eyeshadow was trash. So I changed my plans and went in with this purple shade, which was also not so good. Nay, nay. Could have been a bit more intense, a bit more pigment, a bit more some. Now I want to go in with this silver shade, and there was barely anything showing up and also not on my eye this was even worse than the silver eyeshadow from rem beauty oh my god this was, <laughs> this was so bad mm -mm, mm -mm. then i went in with this green green teal shade also not that good but still the best eyeshadow i tried out of this palette and i was thinking like a elongated lower lash line vibe i don't know i actually didn't like it while i was applying it already hated my idea but there was no turning back i don't even know why i did that face this looks horrible i went into the middle color beautiful, beautiful. and i thought this could be a cute bronzer slash blush but turns out all i did was accidentally dipping into the teal shade with my brush i swear that was the look i had planned from the beginning i ordered the cosmic shadows which is also a powder but not in a palette i've never seen this before it's like a brush with pigment in it i mean not in it you dip it into it and i thought i'm gonna apply it on my lid but it was not pretty i didn't like it so i kind of tried to rub it off again and then just apply it on my lower lash line to give it a bit more shimmer and i like that i like this one way more than all the shades i tried out of the palette it definitely had the most pigment and it was also fun to apply somehow now it's mascara time how do i say this this mascara sucks you can really believe me when i say this because look at my lashes it is so bad i want to give it a zero i went in with two coats and it still didn't do anything i mean just compare it to the other two mascaras i've tried i accidentally did not order a lip product like a colorful one i don't know why i didn't do that my bad so i just ordered this lip gloss which is kind of um glittery kind of bluish a bit i feel like this could have been cute on top of something i mean it's kind of sad that i did not have anything underneath ha 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 this is my look i hate this look it looks horrendous terrific wait terrific is good i feel like my skin is kind of cute it's really natural really cute but ooh, the eye look oh not a huge fan of the eye products but i still feel this brand is very much on brand for millie just very likable somehow i don't know it just gives you good vibes it's not focusing on being cool it's just focusing on spreading positivity so time for the 
next one. I've been waiting for this one. Turn it up. Pleasing by Harry Styles. Harry Styles had his music debut with his ex band One Direction in 2010. <laughs> That's 12 years ago. He started his solo career in 2017, which is still ongoing. He launched his brand Pleasing in November 2021. Before you say something, I know it's not a makeup brand. It's actually a nail polish brand with a bit of skincare. I know, I know. I said I will only be reviewing makeup. I know. I'm confessing that I was just super curious about this. I thought it looked really cool and I was like, I have to try this. Come on. I'm gonna make a little exception for my man's Harry Stilicious. So it started off as a nail polish brand and has expanded on skincare. The polishes are biodegradable, made with plant-based solvents and are 12 free, which means they don't contain formaldehyde, toluene, DBP, camphor, formaldehyde resin, xylene, parabens, fragrances, phthalates, animal ingredients, ethyl tosylamide, and triphenyl phosphate. Just so you know. I have to say researching this brand I did feel a bit more distanced to the brand. I think it's because I never got this celebrity sitting down video where they talk about their products and apply them. I've never actually seen him talk about it. I don't know if I missed something there. The only videos they post is from behind the scenes, from the shoots and Harry Styles getting his nails done while wearing a hat, a mask and sunglasses. Which fair enough, but it just didn't give me the vibes I got with all the other brands. All the other celebrities really presented their brands in a video, did makeup tutorials, did talking videos. I felt a bit disconnected with this one. Going onto the website, I was actually very pleased when I ordered, there was still the old collection, the first collection available, which is not available anymore, actually. It is very expensive. <laughs> 75 euros for a four nail polish set and some stickers, which means it's 18 euros per nail polish, right? Then we also have this pleasing pen. It's a lip oil and a eye mask eye roller and the pearlescent illuminating serum. So two face products, two skincare products. They do ship internationally, but they also don't have a big range of countries. And the shipping is 10 euros. I have very carefully marked these as my pleasing boxes. That sounds like I'm doing something else with them. Problem is I've been under a lot of stress the past couple of weeks, which made me rip off all my nails basically. So the nail polish is it's, it's really bad timing right now. We can be very glad that Vincent provided his hands and nails and face for us to test the Harry Styles products. This is a refreshing eye gel and a matte lip oil, both in one. Vincent, do you want a refreshing eye gel on your eyes right now? So we're gonna apply the eye pen. Look up. He does not know how to be treated well. Well. <laughs> he ain't got nothing to say to that. <laughs> And how does it feel? Now it's time for some beautiful lip oil for those luscious lippies. Ooh, yes. But it's matte. It's not matte at all. How can oil be matte? It says so. That's probably an ingredient. <laughs> but it feels matte. Yeah, but it like doesn't look sandy. like sandy. Sandy? I don't like the feeling. It just feels like oil on your lips. Mm -hmm. Don't trust him. It kind of what? starting to burn. What is burning? Your eyes? We just need to tap it in. Better? Now we're trying the pearlescent illuminating serum. Serum. Serum, it's French. Because Harry Styles is French. She's actually called Aristulis. <laughs> <laughs> but is this gonna go well with my Fenty skin? Of course. It's Harry Styles. One celebrity plus another <laughs> celebrity. Look guys, you can see the pearls. Ew, it just looks gross. Mm -hmm. I haven't even washed my skin yet. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You need like orange light. Yes, honey, yes. You glow. Yeah. yeah, you just really have to rub it in because there's these little pieces of pearls in there for whatever reason. <laughs> but now let's get to the manicure. So we have these beautiful looking nail polishes. I really like the look of it. Do you? 
I'm sorry, but I hate the feeling on my lips. I think it feels totally normal. You just hate Harry Styles. <laughs> to detest Aristides. That is not true, by the way. It looks very professional with a table. <laughs> We're gonna go in with this white one. This is one of the whites. Milky, milky. This is the other white, and I think it's gonna be more see-through. That's just like clear nail polish. Okay, just spread them out. They can't see. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this one, I just applied the first, so it's like milky, and this is the second one, which is a clear one. And look, Vincent's <laughs> nails already look like that. It doesn't even make a difference. This has to be pretty. <laughs> oh no, so this one already clearly. started drying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Now I'm gonna apply the black, which is um, my favorite nail polish color ever. So I hope this one's gonna be good. Is it nice to apply with this big ball in your hand? <laughs> Why did this dry? That's a matte top coat. Oh my God, I don't know anything about the stuff I order. Do you want this to be painted too? Of course. Should Maybe. we just do like a black, pink, black, pink in your area? Maybe pink and then put the matte top coat on top. Okay, I'll do that for you. Wow, that's such a big nail. <laughs> It's gonna waste a lot of product. We're gonna play some stickers now. I think we should do a V for Vincent. Well, but the black one looks so horrible. Look at it, guys. I think this needs another 14 coats. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Mi amor, I don't think this is how it's done. Oh, well, yeah, we got really cool. I also think this just looks horrendous. <laughs> Why are you hitting on my V? I like the V, but he has a point. The black nail polish is definitely not very opaque. I also have like one euro nail polishes, which have better coverage. And these are 18 euros. <laughs> and I read that you are supposed, I mean, you're not supposed to, but you can take off the ball. I actually like the ball. I like the ball too. Yeah, Harry Styles, can you please let me know? Write me a mail on my business mail because I do not know how to get this ball off. Vincent does. <laughs> that ah! looks so bad without Put it back out. Here's a matte version compared to the shiny version. It doesn't look mad at all. The packaging is A+. plus. We love the packaging. If you love Harry Styles and you want to support him, go ahead, but I have had better nail polishes and I'm not even a nail polish expert, so that means something. That was our Harry Styles review. Thank you very much. Please don't oh, hate on us, Harry Styles fandom. <laughs> Item Beauty, founded by Edison Ray. She is a 21 year old social media creator, like me, I'm 21, and got famous through TikTok, where she started posting dance videos in 2019. Now she has 88 million followers. Not bad, Eddie. Do you think that's her nickname? Eddie, kumpel. <laughs> She's recently been staring in the movie He's All That on Netflix, and I actually think she focuses on acting now. She teamed up with the company Madeline Collective to co-create Item Beauty, which launched in August 2020. I actually watched a 47 minute live stream of her using Item Beauty products. That was an experience. <laughs> and it can be yours today for only, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm really trying hard to um, be funnier. It's really hard though. I really don't have a problem with her. I actually don't even know anything about her. I just know that she does TikTok dances and now I know that she makes item beauty products. But researching her, this brand, I just always come across her interviews and stuff and it's just, she's a bit awkward and bless her. When did she start TikTok again? She is super young and she probably has to deal with a lot of hate. Visiting the Item Beauty website, we can see their brand color is orange. Yes, I'm pointing that out every time because it's just something that I care for. I don't mind it, but I also don't like it. Mm, I'm here to remind you that your opinion of yourself matters more than theirs. Oh my God, at this point, I've read so many 
many dramatic emotional brand messages <laughs> also it kind of all sounds the same at this point they do have many shipping options which is good and also the shipping is free that's what my eyes like to see okay edison ray show me what you got i'm so happy i got a poster of my best friend eddie and there we are the horrendous packaging <laughs> this gradient of the orange what the fuck does this palette do in there it's just so random and then the blue why is this blue ah. but at least you've got this beautiful poster because i'm such an edison ray stan i'm gonna oh put it up my wall and then up my ass. As you can see, I am barefaced, so we got some face products. We're gonna start with the Air Hug Concealer. They have 20 concealer shades, just like Florence Improvable. I used this as foundation, and it really worked out well. I mean, it's concealer. Usually concealer is more coverageable than foundation, so I did have a good coverage on this. It also was a good shade. <laughs> I'm so lucky with the shades in this video, except the Rare Beauty one. And then I also applied it on my under eye as a concealer, lightened it a little bit with a different concealer. Very sorry about that. <laughs> and I like this. Look at how good my skin Skin looks now brow chow which is a brow pencil again and i thought maybe it's gonna be better but it's actually worse than the kai liner a uh, kai brow really gets soft quickly like you don't have a sharp edge anymore and i originally wanted to do brush stroke couldn't do that anymore because it's just too thick so i just went ahead and did just sharp brows which are very mediocre don't like this product maybe it works on other brows i really don't want to not consider that but it just doesn't work for me mm -mm. next i'm gonna set my face with the powder hour is it a brush a brush powder thing i was very surprised i did not quite understand how it works if i need to slap it into my face um i kind of did kind of worked but i don't know if i'm using this right something is wrong here <laughs> next i'm using the cheek money bronzer which i really liked really good really really amazing good pigment and good blending i was impressed with my base wowzers and now the in my element palette i do not understand this packaging and then something happened which i really did not expect you can see i was shocked i was very shocked three of the shimmer shades just fell out when i opened the palette Unfortunately, I opened the palette like a book, which made them fall out very quickly. <laughs> and I couldn't even save them anymore. It was just sprinkled on my bed. Not your fucking serious edison how could you do that to me i don't understand how this can happen i've had this before in the laura lee makeup what was her brand called laura lee los angeles she sent this one to me i did a review her shimmer shades broke on me and just fell out of the palette and then she never sent me anything again <laughs> she also never commented on my video but she did on every other review but this can't happen i actually wanted to write them a mail i forgot about it until now i will write them a mail and complain about this and hopefully i will get a refund i still went in with the palette i used the orange shade i realized this orange shade is not super easy to blend um i did have some issues with it then again maybe i'm just pissed at the brand by this point then i went in with one of the not broken shimmer shades and it did not really show up so i went in with one of the broken shimmer shades or what was left of it that was actually really pretty i mean it would have been amazing if they had not broken next i'm going in with another mascara lash snack and even though i wanted to hate everything so badly now i love the mascara it was the best mascara i tried in this video maybe one of the best mascaras in general that i've tried i would definitely put it up there with the l'oreal sky high mascara this is just one coat everyone i think then i just applied some of the broken shimmer shade on my cheeks as a highlighter which worked i also bought this gloss in the very bright red orange shade it smells like maracuya still don't know how i feel about smelling glosses 
is, I don't know, I think it's kind of annoying and unnecessary. And that is my item beauty look. Don't like it to be honest, but just because the orange is not blended well, maybe that's also my fault, but it was not nice to blend. And well, the palette is unforgivable, unless I get a refund. I mean, I have to get a refund. Let's get to the next makeup brand. We're still not done, everyone. Ooh, this is such a long video. Did you get something to eat? Did you drink enough water? Just checking up on you. We're gonna be here for a while. We are still here for a while. There's a lot of whiles. Hey, Taco. I changed my camera battery three times already. Our next celebrity is Becky G with Tres Luce Beauty. Becky G is a singer and she started her career with 16 when she published her first single Becky from the Block in 2013. And you might also know her from her single from 2014. Dancing in the mirror, singing in the shower. La -da -dee, la -da -da. she sang that song that's amazing now she's all grown up actually she's younger than me <laughs> but only a year or maybe even less and she focuses more on latin music and obviously on her new makeup brand tres luce tres luce was launched in june 2021 and if you're wondering what it means it's an original created word by becky inspired by her lucky number tres and the words la luz or lucir which means light and shine i'm so good at spanish so i watched a lot of videos of her promoting her brand live streams tiktoks youtube videos something that i noticed is she used a lot of face filters like these typical instagram face transforming filters which i don't understand to be honest becky g is literally one of the prettiest humans i've ever seen on earth why does she still do that it just also doesn't make sense because she's advertising beauty products and then why, why would you put face filters on. I just don't like that. Tres Luce Beauty, the website. Obviously, we have another brand color. A very vibrant blue. I like it. And they advertise their Intenso Eyeliner as a TikTok viral best-selling award-winning liner. I did not see but maybe I missed it. <laughs> Tres Luces brand message is they create, celebrate and support Latinx heritage and culture because Becky G's roots are from Mexico. And also if you stumbled upon the word Latinx, it is a gender neutral form of the words Latina or Latino, which I actually did not know before. And I'm glad I know now because I think it's really cool. I think it's a good idea. While researching this, I realized it's not very popular using this word and people just you know they don't want to change their vocabulary so anyway just a side note which i think is really important let's get back to the products or first the shipping they have so many shipping options which is great also free shipping and now let's get to the products give it up becky <laughs> So here are the products. Again, the blue. I love it. I kind of love it. I think it would have been cooler if the whole packaging had been blue and not just one side. We're gonna start with the TikTok famous Intenso liner in the color matte red Amor. Again, we have a lot of different colors, especially the liners. I definitely think Tres Luce also does a bit more crazy stuff, a bit more colorful stuff. I just applied some of the liner. I didn't know exactly what look I had in mind but it all came together while I was doing it. Then I'm gonna use the Tres Reinas palette which kind of really is a cute packaging. I love the artwork on it and I think the palette also looks kind of cool. It's not super colorful but it's also not neutral. It's a good mix of both. And then I'm just blending the eyeliner with the pink. I was just thinking maybe like a cut crease but like inverted. I don't know. <laughs> and then I also went in with this peachy shade to just blend it a bit more. I don't know what to say these blend good amazingly it just blends super great <laughs> then going in with this pink shimmer shade and applying it on my lid amazing absolutely beautiful fantastic spectacular mind-boggling then somebody shit into my brain and apparently i wanted to apply this liquid eyeshadow on top of a powder again it just didn't work it was horrible so i stopped and applied more of the shimmer eyeshadow now the liquid liner as you guys know <sighs> 
it was good it was um not the best one i tried yet i feel like it was a bit stiff could have been a bit more flexible but it was still manageable i could work with it a mi me gusta mayores a mi me gusta más grandes se vuelvan loca and I also applied the Intenso liner in my waterline, which worked well and looked cute. Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, and the soda on the side. Let's get to the cheeks. I ordered this cream blush, which I thought was powder blush. So it was kind of a bummer because my face was powdered and I knew I would have to apply the cream blush. But actually, it was fine. It blended so nicely on top of my powdered face. And this is what I want. This is what I asked for all my life. It was really good. Next, the highlighter palette. As you guys know, by now, I'm not a huge fan of powder highlighter anymore. Um, This one was a bit not creamy, like very, uh, how do I explain it? Very dry. And it just did not give me the vibes. This is definitely my least favorite product from Tres Luces so far. And then I'm gonna apply the Illusion Vegan Lashes. I think this style was the only one that was available when I ordered. Not quite my style. I did have some trouble putting them on because they were so straight. I just went ahead and bended them a little bit and then it was okay. But still, I'm also very picky when it comes to lashes because I do have my own lashes, which are perfection. Different people like different kinds of lashes. These are more natural ones. I did not like the lash band. Just some little things that bothered me. I actually did not have a lip product, but I know they do have lip products. But it was okay because I just applied the cream blush, which was actually really amazing on there. It just really kind of tied everything together. I also applied a little bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of the Intenso liner. Could have probably just used this as a lip liner as well because it's multi-purpose. And this is my Tres Luce look. I like this look. I'm really proud of this outcome. It was very fun to create. I'm so happy I found out about this brand because I did actually not know it before. Next, we're gonna try Kesha Rose by Kesha. Kesha officially started her singing career in 2005 and I'm pretty sure we all still know our good old favorite song. Wake up in the morning feeling like Pete and I got my glasses I'm at the door I'm gonna hit the city. Together with Hip Dot she created her makeup brand Kesha Rose in December 2019. So it's not technically her own brand it's more a collab. She says about herself I feel like like I'm just a floating aura and my aura changed colors every day and I want to be able to express that with my makeup. I don't know what accent that was. That was not her accent. I actually really enjoyed watching her videos because she also posted a lot of videos explaining her products, talking about them. And I really enjoyed it because it kind of also gave me good ASMR vibes. I think she would have an amazing ASMR career. They don't. She does not have a lot of products. She has her palette, two eyeliners, and a lip combo, basically. So gloss and a lipstick. And unfortunately, I can't get them individually, only in this trio or, well, in a set. And the set with the eyeliners was not available anymore, so I can only get the one with the palette and the lip products. The shipping was horrible. I mean, they do ship internationally, but $31, ugh. This is something you can only get on Hip Dot and not anywhere else. I mean, yes, it does include Texas and the shipping is actually just $12, but it is a big number there. Now getting to the products, I do like the packaging. I did not think that I actually like it that much because the first impression was like, oh, well, okay. But the more I look at it, the more I like it. It just gives you good vibe. And here's the palette. I mean, the palette also looks really interesting and very different. And the colors are so beautiful together. Also the colors inside, amazing. I, I don't know. I really have a good first impression of this. Um, there's a good mix of everything in there. And I was thinking why not go for a green vibe. I just went in with that green eyeshadow shade. I did indeed very much like it. It's usually not a shade I go for but it looked cute. Next I'm going in with this green shimmer shade. It would have been better if this had been just matte. It's shimmery and we're gonna darken our look with this. It, it worked. I mean you can use shimmer shades in places where you would normally apply 
apply matte shades as long as the eyeshadow is good. Now I'm doing this dragging the eyeshadow into my eyebrows and above thing which I do like to do to spice things up a little. And then I'm applying Spaceship, this green shimmer color. Very bright and very pretty. I really like it. Look at it. Just repeating the steps on my lower lash line and then I'm applying TikTok which is very glittery and which blew me away. This place is about to blow. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh my God. Then I'm just darkening the look a little bit with this dark shimmer shade. It also worked out well, even though it's a shimmer shade. I really, really had fun playing with this palette and just getting into all of these shades. Yeah, I also applied the glitter shade on my highlighter place. And then we can get to the lip product. It's a lipstick and a kind of clear gloss but the gloss is pH based so it changes on your lip depending on your pH balance. I always want to say HP but that's Harry Potter. Yeah I applied the lipstick before and the lipstick is cute maybe not so my shade. Kesha actually applied the lip gloss on her eyelid in a video and it changed colors because of her pH balance. The gloss mixed a little bit with the lipstick. I did not like that because that way I just lost the precision I applied it with. Yeah, I did not like that. I did not like that. <laughs> I also used this red shade out of the palette to apply some blush. Amazing. I mean, it's an eyeshadow. It's super pigmented. Gotta be careful with that. I love this look. I love the palette. I love the products. I love Kesha. Maybe I'm a Kesha fan now. This was great. I hope she actually launches some more products because December 2019, it's been some time. I hope she doing okay. I hope she is producing more products because I'm really excited for more. Yes guys, this next one is the last celebrity makeup brand we're gonna be testing out. And you're probably already wondering, where is she? I was wondering too, because you know what? I forgot about her. I'm talking about Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I literally just realized a couple of days ago that I still have to film Fenty. <laughs> so if you don't know who Rihanna is, she is a singer, an actress, and a businesswoman. <laughs> Since 2017, she stopped focusing on music and more on being a businesswoman. <laughs> Apart from a makeup brand, she also is the face for the lingerie brand Savage X Fenty, which you guys know I'm not a huge fan of. Fenty Beauty launched September 2017, and I still remember that their original foundation launch back then had 40 shades and everyone went crazy about this because back then that was like not the usual. She kind of, you know, set new tone for inclusivity. Rihanna definitely focuses on inclusivity and diversity with her brand, quote, so that women everywhere would be included. I'm gonna correct you there, Riri, and men, women and men, every person, yes. She was focusing on a wide range of traditionally hard to match skin tones, developing formulas that work for all skin types and pinpointing universal shades. Yes, that was a copy and paste sentence. What are you gonna do about it? As of March 2022, Fenty Beauty has a net worth more than three billion dollars and it's definitely the most successful celeb brand up to date. I've been using Fenty Beauty for such a long time. I have so many Fenty Beauty products, but nonetheless, I still wanted to order all of their newest and most current products they just launched. You know, I still got my way around this and ordered all the products I haven't tried yet. Getting to the website, it looks very, yeah. The website is nothing special, but we do like the packaging and the execution of the product. For example, the magnetic cream sticks, which just are magnetic magnetic to each other and then you can have this really big stick. You can actually get Fenty Beauty in Sephora in Germany, but I wanted to have the experience I've never had before and order from Fenty Beauty directly. Damn, I spent so much money on this page. Maybe it's a little bit more expensive than the average celeb makeup brand, but I also just ordered so many products because they have so many. It's insane. Free shipping is actually free if you buy something that costs more than 70 euros. The products look good. They are here. They are a lot. Yeah, let's just let's just do cute Fenty makeup. Hopefully. Hello. Let's do a full face of Fenty. Let's start with the Fenty primer. I actually bought this sometime, but I never used it. <laughs> Oopsie. 
It feels very hydrating. It's very sticky. I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Fenty is very known for their foundation, but I found a foundation which I've never seen before. It's a soft matte one. I know matte is so out, but back in the day, damn, that was all I ever wanted to be matte. <laughs> Look, he's so small. I also bought brushes. This is the foundation brush. Mmm. Oh, a heart. Uh, that's a broccoli. Let's see if this turns me matte. I don't like the brush. It also doesn't look super matte, but also not glowy. So I would say it's like a good middle thing, but I hate the brush. I also got a brow product from Fenty. I didn't know they do that. Ugh. Not this again. Oh, I want a spoolie brush. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, at first it's always amazing because it's like really precise and can draw these hairs. Maybe I should have gotten one shade darker. I think it's too light. I hate it. Where's the preciseness with this? Oh no. I lost the hair strokes, everyone. Oh, that is so bright. I took the wrong foundation. Oh no. Oh no, what am I doing? I am not the right person to test this. I got some concealer. This is what I got. Ooh, it feels very creamy. And mixing it with the lighter one because, oh, that is yellow. I'm getting rare beauty flashbacks. Oh, that one is so much better than the other one I tried. It actually has coverage. <laughs> I think I like it. Oh, the concealer is... I have a creamy match stick. Didn't think you would be getting some free ASMR content, did you? Sexy. I like the brush for my contour. Yes, look at it. Ooh, it's so good. It's so beautiful. <gasps> I just buffed my brow in. Can I just not have brows in this video, please? I wish I could just sharpen this. I really do not understand. Why am I talking about the brows again? Cream blush. Oh, it looks so good. <gasps> Oh, I just love cream blush. Pretty. The Liquid Killer Wood Highlighter. I think these are new too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah. It's very subtle, but like a very beautiful, natural shine from within. I also bought the Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Oh, it looks so satisfying. Damn, look at my skin. That is like a flawless combination, definitely. Fenty actually does not have many palettes. I think their first product was an eyeshadow palette and I actually think I still have it. Hang on. This is the Moroccan Spice palette and I have worn the shit out of this. We did go from this to this. Right here we have a very basic palette and I think this is the only one they have right now. I really feel uninspired again just looking at this. But look, I got two eyeshadow brushes. Ooh, I like the brush. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna bring it down my nose. Not gonna lie, it's blending really nicely. Dark shade. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with this gold shade right here really does not go with the color I just applied. I don't know what's happening to this look, guys. I think I need a little bit of something here. The shadows are amazing. I bought the fly liner and I've tried it before in black, but now they have it in brown. Ooh, ooh, that is pretty as fuck. The color payoff is so amazing. Ooh, I love it. Make sure it's dry before you blink. Not gonna lie, the liner saved the whole look. This is mascara and it is actually in the color burgundy. Interesting. I'm not a huge fan of this mascara. You can barely see that it's burgundy. It actually just looks normal. I look like I don't have any top lashes. Where are they? Guys, Guys come, come on. on. I also bought the new Icon lipstick. It's like the newest product. It's uh, supposedly a great lipstick formula. I know you want to look at it. <laughs> and there's like a cool feature about this. You can buy the refills individually and then the case and then and you can just switch it out. Look, that's the lipstick. Here we have it. Ah! Turn this, and then there it's coming out, and you can just take it out again. I. It's a liner, isn't it? It's the exact same shade. That is 
pigmented. Mm -hmm. Old Naomi. I always need a lip liner. This is so hard. Did you know they made this, the shape of the lipstick, exactly in the form of Rihanna's lips? So you can just do this if you're Rihanna. <laughs> Let me test if I'm Rihanna. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, oh no! It's too creamy. This is my look, my Fenty look. I think we can all agree on that the face products are pretty bomb. I really do look kind of airbrushed but I still look a bit glowy, even though that is probably just my face grease. The only products I did not like, the eyebrow pencil, the mascara, the foundation brush. The lipstick feels very comfortable on my lips. I'm not so sure about the formula. It's very comfortable on the lips, but it doesn't look good on me because I overline the shit out of my lips and then it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Woohoo. They did not disappoint, but they do have a couple of products which are a bit of a miss for me. Fenty Naomi says goodbye for now. Guys, I think that's it. <laughs> Technically, there are more celebrity makeup brands, for example, KKW, Kim Kardashian's brand, but they're actually on hold for now. I don't know why they're doing a whole rebranding, but you can actually shop their products right now. Then we also have JLo Beauty from Jennifer Lopez, but it is mostly skincare flower beauty by Drew Barrymore, but they don't ship to Germany and I did not find a way to get my hands on the products. My verdict. My personal favorite was, I mean you can guess it, About Face from Halsey. I really like her creativity and her innovation. I also really enjoyed Tres Luce Beauty. I mean I also love Kesha Rose. All the other brands had their hit and miss products definitely somewhere. Okay, somewhere unforgivable. I'm kind of scared of my Selena Gomez and Harry Styles backlash. <laughs> also, Halsey, Kesha, if you want to do a collab, I feel like we would really vibe. Or Rihanna, I mean, <laughs> if you, if you want to be on this bomb reveal channel, let me know. Yeah, now that you're saying it, I think Fenty Beauty has to be my favorites as well. Please let me know your opinion down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you watched until now, which is really good. I'm actually gonna give away all the products I use in this video. Obviously I have already used it but I'm gonna try to clean it as much as possible and sanitize it all and I mean some of it was not super amazing. I still feel like you guys would appreciate just getting something for free. <laughs> just comment which makeup package which celebrity brand you want to have and why and maybe also write something about Naomi John how cool she is <laughs> <laughs> and please don't forget your Instagram handle because if you win then I'll have to contact you via Instagram. Guys, this is it. This is this video. I've been sitting here for five hours. I've been filming this video for a month and I probably have five days of editing ahead of me. I hope this was not too boring for the people who are not that much into makeup. But then again, I don't think they watched this video. <laughs> but if you did, you're a real one, a real broccoli and I really love you and I really need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah! Thank you guys so much for watching until now, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. I'm just gonna get this wig off. Oh. <laughs> Bye.